On this show, we'll get into the mind of successful players in the music scene. From music executives to artists to promoters, we'll find out how they get to make their money and the business side of music. I'm your host, Elizabeth Musa. My guest today is Oluwatosin Ajibade, popularly known as Mr. Easy. He is a Nigerian singer, songwriter, and entrepreneur. He is known to be the pioneer of the record label Banku Music, which is a fusion of Ghanaian high life with elements of Nigerian Afrobeat music. Mr. Easy is also the founder and CEO of Empower Africa, an initiative with a mission to help new artists reach their full potential musically by equipping them with the knowledge and funding to do so. So let's talk about your recently released album, Evil Genius. Excited for that. So it's been a long time coming. Tell us why it took so long and what this album represents. This, th thanks for having me. This album represents so two and a half years of my life, my thoughts, experiences, and a lot of introspection. This album is a lot of consciousness. Let's talk about how you unpick 13 artists, I mean, representing eight African countries to work on the album. Uh, that's a new addition to your many pursuit. I mean, everybody knows Mr. Izzy as the businessman, different things to your name. What was that process like for you? It was miraculous in the sense that I'd never done this before. And I was just discovering art. And, you know, where I was recording the album in Cotonou, there was so much art around. And I guess you don't know when things are getting into you. That's why, you know, one has to be careful mm. what you surround yourself with. Art is what completes the album. So as an artist, let's, let's talk business. How did you make your first one millionaire? When did you make your first one remember. millionaire? I can't remember, to be honest. <laughs> As an artist, I don't feel remember, but you know, one millionaire for music must have sometime in 20, like at a go, probably yes. in 2016. My okay. first one millionaire for music, yeah. And I like how you said for music, so obviously that's like a side to all the many things that you do. Bro, so you've definitely been, made more million. I've just been a hustler, so <laughs> we've made money, we've lost, like we don't lose money. They don't push you or say we owe money. <laughs> they say we don't go into hiding. <laughs> they don't seize our passports. We don't go into hiding for a few months. You know, we've mm -hmm. done that. You feel me? And it was mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. You know, was, there's, I, I saw a picture of me and they're like, oh, when Mr. Easy was on Easy. It's like, <laughs> when, when you are in, if you're really in that flow state, like, you'd be very shocked. And so clearly you're a business person. So we know that you're this savvy businessman. Can you tell us some of the businesses that you are into? I'm not a savvy businessman. You are not? Trust me. I'm oh, not wow. a savvy businessman. I'm just like a hustler. Do you understand? Okay. And I like, I like freedom. And so freedom drives me to do things to maintain the freedom. So, you know, and entrepreneurship gives freedom, you know. And, and that's what I've been able to do. So, you know, within the music, for instance, I'm like, okay, I want to be able to put out any kind of music I want to put out whenever I want to put out. That means I have to have my label. That means all the money I'm making, I know if you just go to buy a you know every spend now and then, I guess put okay. them back to, yes. to make the brand bigger and so that I can make more money. And then I start thinking, mm -hmm. Well, this music, I feel you know, get a hit song next year. Okay, so what do I feel? Okay, if we find another artist, we will say, could we make hit song, invest. And so, if I'm if if I'm not if I don't have a hit song out that year, a commercial hit song, or I'm not touring, I can be making money from there. So it's just that drive for freedom to be able to go on stage. Well, or say I don't want to go on stage again. I just want to chill and. I've been able to find that freedom through entrepreneurship. I've been able to be around good people, learn, learn a lot from people, and then find opportunity. And sometimes take crazy risks that make no sense, you know, and some fail woefully, 
But the beautiful thing is I've been I've been broke plenty of times. Oh, so really? to be broke, no they fear me. Like my first proper debt, maybe see at the O was when I was probably seventeen. Maybe see I don't use my school fees, go buy a taxi and I don't go crash the taxi. Now I know if you write the exam. And at the same time, I mean I go borrow money from a loan shark and now I'm in debt. Yeah, that has informed investing in music, seeing opportunity to invest in music, in events, in ticketing platforms, starting my own fund, um, and being around people and seeing opportunity that has been given to me, you know, via maybe my position in the music industry, your access to people. Uh, and yeah, it's been it's been a, a very interesting journey. But I'm not okay. like this crazy, crazy, like business savvy. It's, it seems you don't you don't want that tag. Is, business. No, is any anywhere but Hustler. Anywhere Hustler. Anywhere so benefits. how long have you been in this hustle? Yo, bro, I've been hustling, man. I've been hustling since like old town home science association <laughs> secondary school. <laughs> <laughs> when we were when we were jumping fence to go and buy Valentine's gift and sell to boys. Oh, wow. You know, where we were going to um I remember when I discovered Katangoa and so I would go, I'll say, Oh yeah, yeah, we went for summer and we bought this in Liverpool Street. Where you see, we just go Katangoa. <laughs> we could sell out to boys for And they believed. <laughs> Not be Liverpool streets, then bring the thing from. Yes. <laughs> you know, so so we've we've been we've been hustling is but not like it's not like pain, it's like it's the joy of creating. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what are some of the challenges that you say that like the Nigerian or the African music industry faces? Um, I think structurally, just needs there needs to be more structures. And then how do the structures come? investment simple as that the major challenge for the music industry i don't even want to talk about africa nigerian music industry mm -hmm. still needs funding funding because if if we're gonna have five venues in lagos it costs money mm. who's going to build those venues and and somebody might say oh there's so many things wrong in the country like Venue is the last thing. We never fix road, you know, the toxic make we build venue. But like there needs to be a there needs to be more investment going into the music industry. But I think it will come. You know, this this not all bleak because as you see, the more Nigerian music becomes popular, the more foreign investment is coming in. And then more local capital is saying that ah this guy was just singing yesterday in my backyard now in the one then it encourages people it informs people about the music industry so i think it's a great time but definitely more funding there's too much talent not enough funding entrepreneurs in the music industry what's your advice for them on how to be successful in this business bro i don't feel advice anybody man okay. it's like the stuff is a lot of work and because it's a new industry, people are learning. The entrepreneurs are learning, the artists are learning, the lawyers are learning, the managers are learning. So this is a very tough time for the music business, but it's quick learning. I think, yeah, I think that's the only thing I'd say is like to, to like never stop learning. And even me, I'm, I'm, I'm learning within Empower. We're looking at the structure, seeing how to change, how to change things, how to be better, how to have better contracts. Actually, meaning the structure. You okay. know, what is the structure mm. of the contract? What's the, what's the terms? Are there new structures that are now happening globally that we can bring? locally so those kind of things are there new ways we can get funding because you know those kind of things so it's like just be ready to learn and be patient you're yeah, looking to have more people on board no, more just, artists on board not really not really okay. not really 
just, or not for now not for now let's just take it away babe talk about your love life um mr easy to me or ted dollar are you married yet there's a video on youtube it's mm. called legalize yeah okay so that if you, one if you, if you go and watch that video you'd see the answer but a lot of people have watched that video but it still can't see the answer and that video is the best Afrobeat music video ever made. It's like art, you know, made in Venice. Any you know. collaborations you're looking out for? To be honest, no. I'm just, you know, trying to decide. For instance, the new album continues. The exhibition comes to Lagos in December, and then it will continue to travel until May 27 next year. And I'm just trying to think of how I want to bring the live experience you know, the band, the stage, the the lights, so that it's a, it's an experience and it has the music and the art and all the symbolism. So that's what I'm focused on um, right now. Yeah, that's what I'm focused on. So we should look out for all of that. Um, yeah. Your new yeah. art. I think you're mostly focused on art right now like you're all about art no, so art, it's, it's, art it's, music it's the, yeah it's the music, yeah, it's music. It's, it's the music mm -hmm. the, the music and the art that's that's okay. that's my big focus right now i don't want to hear any other things if in fact if you didn't hear me and you mention any other things ever feel but i come up for that big <laughs> focus on this thing there's something we like to do when we end the show so we talk about favorite songs that you sing in the shower do you, you sing in the shower? In the shower. Right now, I sing Notorious a lot. It's one of my songs. Because there's this, the second verse is bad. I say, forget the fresh I'm ugly. I got too much money on me. Shit. Can't you see? I only their talk with plenty. They can't even call an army. They silly can't afford me. Out in a jet with my girl. And that's not a flex. Man never tried to impress. I never tried to finesse new postcode. I changed my address. It's too dope. It's crazy. <laughs> I serve it. I serve it too much. Man. Oh my goodness! And that's and that, that's that's why I'm singing in the bathroom because mm. it's all reality mm. in there. Yeah. Mm. Right. Thank you so much, Mister. So this much was so good. Me, Thank you. Yeah. Bless Thank you. Blessings. Thank you. I had such an amazing time today speaking with Mr. Easy on Morning Behind the Music. I can't wait to speak with our next guest and I hope you watch out for our next episode. My name is Elizabeth Musa. See you next time.